Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I am a part-time reseller. I resell on Kitizen, Mercari, eBay, Tradesy, and Poshmark. I think I didn't forget anything. And today I'm going to show you my sales for the second half of the month of August, as well as a wrap up of the month of August. How many things I sold, how much I sold uh, in total. Yeah, I'm going to show you first my Trade Z sale. I sold one young, fabulous and broke dress. I sold it for $97.75 and the buyer has 21 days to return something on Trade Z. And the buyer asked to return it. So the way the returns work on Trade Z is that the buyer sends Trade Z the item, which I like because it's an assurance for the seller that the buyer is not going to wear the item and then return the item damaged or you know um, worn, and is returning the actual item you sent. So that's a good thing about the return system. The bad thing is that. It takes a while for you to get your item back. So once they inspect the item, they send you the, the item. Once it got to me, I inspected and I saw that one of the seams on the dress, it was a tiered dress. So one of the seams was, had a little, um, the seams were undone. So I emailed Tradesy, I sent a picture of the flaw and the solution they gave me was to uh, decrease the, the fee that they take for selling an item so once i sell this dress again if i sell it again on tradesy instead of paying 19.8 percent fee on the item i'm only gonna pay 14.9 this is not a very good solution in my opinion but it's okay because it was not the, the dress was not really damaged it was just a little um the seam was a little bit undone and i can fix that um it trades it takes 19.8 percent on the price of the item that you sell for and they also take a 2.9 percent fee for cashing out um, your the money so it's quite steep it's the most expensive platform to sell on the customer service was uh they replied very fast so i was happy with that now I'm going to show you my eBay sales. I had 37 uh, sales on eBay for the whole month, but I'm going to show you just the second half of the month. I sold this Lily Pulitzer dress. Um, it had some stains on the white part, but this dress sold very, very fast. It sold within, I think, two days. And I sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. So I sold this Miss Sook dress also. It was a very nice dress in very good condition, but it was missing the size tag. So I measured the dress and I compared to other listings that were listed with measurements. And it appeared to me that it was a size large. Um, it sold in less than two months for $35. It was an offer that I sent to a, to a watcher and she left me a feedback. So I guess the size was correct. Then I sold this Honest Girls Flamingo Swim Diaper. Um, it's a swim diaper from Honest. This was a very old item that I had and I found it recently. Uh, back when I bought it, I bought it for $4. It was selling fast for about $15, but I looked up comps and everything was going for very, very little. So I only charged $4.99. No, I'm sorry. I think I had it for $9.99 and, and a buyer uh, offered $5 and I accepted it. So I think I made my money back on that. So I sold this Free People Bella Print Tunic dress. Um, it was a very quick flip as well. I sold it in less than a week for $24.99 plus shipping. Uh, then I sold this Gianni Bernini red leather crossbody organizer bag. This was one of the items that I had listed on um, Poshmark and, and hadn't cross posted to eBay. So I found I found out that it wasn't cross cross posted to eBay, so I finally did it, and it sold fast within I think two months. 
for $16.99, not too much, but I think I only paid a dollar for it. Then I saw this Banana Republic black pointed toe leather heels for $24. Um, I picked this pair of shoes for like a dollar a long time ago though. So then I'm, um, I think I said it in previous videos that uh, once Target has their costume clearance, I go there and I buy lots of costumes and I save it for around two to three months before Halloween. And then I start listing, this is my son, Danny. <laughs> and, and it's selling. So I sold this one for $25. My cost was, I believe $3 and yep, it's a, it's a toddler elephant plush ride Halloween. Then I sold this L.L. Bean Nylon Black Tote. Um, I sold it in less than a month for $24.99. And I believe I paid, I paid up for it. I think I paid either $10 or $12. But I knew that L.L. Bean is a, bags are a set, fast seller. So I was okay with that. Then I sold this Adidas Crazy Explosive uh sneakers i sold it for 40 dollars and i believe i paid 11 dollars. it was a tj maxx uh clearance retail arbitrage then i sold this children's uh 12 cd box set this was free to my children and it's free to us and i sold it for 24.99 another free item was this uh rare edition romper it was a red romper new tags that i got for free on facebook marketplace i sold it for 15 dollars then i sold on august 31st i sold i'm sorry august 26th the story dress for 19.99 i think i paid about eight dollars for that that was i paid up for it uh, but i it was a beautiful dress and it sold fast this was a free item to me. It was a Rothko men's cargo denim pants. Uh, I received positive feedback for it and I sold it for $6 only. Um, then this was a good sale for me. It was a Gymshark flex legging and I picked it up for less than $3 and I sold it for $39.99. It was brand new with bags, but it was a size extra small. Next was this Ella Moss black crochet shift dress. I sold for $29.99. I believe I paid six or five or six dollars for it. This dress was the last one of my haul uh, of this brand. I found this um, these dresses all new with tags. They are low quality dresses, but the print was fun and they were plus size. So I bought them each for $1 and this one is the last one to go. Uh, I sold it for only $10.99. And I sold this Express Slim Soft Wash button down shirt. I sold it for $12. This, thread, this shirt came in a thread up box. I doubled my money on that box. So everything that I sell now is, is a pure profit and it didn't sell for much, but it sold. Then I sold this Amanda Up Richard silk dress. I think I believe I paid five dollars for it, and I sold it for twenty five. I sold this Jessica Simpson. I bought this for myself, and it was too small, so I sold it for nineteen, and I bought it for eleven dollars. I still made money on it. Um, and that's it for the month of August on eBay. Now I'm gonna show you my Mercari sales. So my first sale uh, on Mercari on the 17th, was it on the 17th? Yeah, uh, were these Mero uh, sneakers. I bought them for $14 on TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one or the other. And my net earnings for them were 35.10. I cannot look here i don't know why mercari doesn't show how much the buyer paid but this was net earnings so you you would subtract 14 of 35 10. 
Then I saw this Kalia um, tank top. I, I sold it for 15 and my net earnings were 13 50 and I paid a dollar for it. Then I saw this jeans, skinny jeans by Harper and my net earnings went, were 1080. Net earnings means taking out the fee, not taking out the cost of goods. I'm telling you my cost of goods, okay? So um, my net earnings were 1080 and uh, I paid a dollar for the, for these jeans. Next was this Cavalli um, t-shirt, t-shirt. This was a um, retail arbitrage as well. I, I paid $10 at TJ Maxx and I my net earnings were $31.50. Next were these Sorel slip-on. Uh, this was also a retail, retail arbitrage from Nordstrom Rack, North, Nordstrom Rack, <laughs> can't say it. And I sold it for $35 and my net earnings were $31.50. I paid about $15 for it. And last were these Free People clogs and I sold them for $39 and my net earnings were $35.10 and I paid about $15 for them at Nordstrom Rack as well. Now I'm gonna show you my Poshmark sales. Um, first thing I sold on the 16th were these Lululemon Voyage sweat pant white leg. These I sold with the same day I listed it for $40. And I believe I paid around $6 for it. Next is a very exciting sale. I have this pajama, silk pajamas that I sold for $90. And, um, I only paid $6.99 for it and it sold within two days. Then I have this American Eagle high rise flare overall. It was a size two. It was also retail arbitrage. I paid full price at TJ Maxx. It was $9.99 and I decided that I could flip it and it flipped uh, in about a month for $25 and my net earnings were $20. Then the, I sold this Twin Hill UPS brown pants i sold it for 20 dollars and these were free to me next were these dance go slip on shoes i paid about five dollars for it and i sold it for 25 my net earnings were 20. next for the was this uh brooks brothers dress uh it was in brand new condition it was a size 10 and i sold it with then I think the same day I listed it for $50 and I paid about $10 for it. Then I sold this Athleta uh, Squirts. I sold it, I think within two days of listing for $35. This was not an offer. The buyer, uh, I think it was a guest buyer and paid out, outright $35. And my net earnings were 28 and I believe I paid four or five dollars for it this was a halloween um a cat halloween costume this was in came in one of those michael grab bags so you know i maybe i have 50 cents on it and i sold it for seven dollars and my net earnings were 405 then i sold this icon icon hand painted sandals in maybe two weeks i sold it for 30 dollars and my net earnings were 24 and I believe I paid about $5 for it. I sold this lot of Christmas tiny treasures embellishments. Um, this also came in one of those um, micro grab bags. I didn't like the micro uh, Christmas grab bags. I didn't make money on them, but I'm making my money back. So I sold, I offered ten dollars for the lot and my net earnings were 705 then i sold this costume it was a chameleon uh halloween costume i sold it for 16 dollars my net earnings were 1280 and i paid two dollars for it at target then i sold this kipling crossbody bag um i bought it i believe for this was i paid up for it i should not have I think I paid $4 for it and I sold it for 15 and my net earnings were 12. 
Then this, these were all free to me. So I made bundles. Uh, this lady on mark, uh, Facebook Marketplace replied to my uh, request for donations. And I grabbed a bunch of stuff from her and I lotted up her daughter's clothes and I made $10 on this lot. And my net earnings were seven oh five. This was a um, online arbitrage. I bought this pair of boots for twenty four dollars, and I sold it within a week for ninety five. And my net earnings were seventy six. This is John Fulbog. Um, this brand uh, resells for a lot of money, even the used. Um, items they go for hundreds of dollars so i listed it for i believe 125 and i offered the buyer to drop the price to 95 and she accepted it so um keep your eyes out for john flubog then i sold this uh helmet lang skinny pants uh, red skinny pants it was a very small size it was a size 24 and it was also an uh, online arbitrage and I sold it for 65. My net earnings were 52 and I paid $25 for it. Next were the, was this uh, Eileen Fisher silk dress. This was a retail arbitrage. I paid $39 for it at, <laughs> at uh, TJ Maxx. I sold it for 165 and my net earnings were one. 32 so i made almost a hundred dollars on that dress next were these hudson uh flare jeans very small size as well 24 i paid a dollar for it sold it for 15 and my net earnings were 12. another retail arbitrage this one did not do well for me i bought it for three dollars it was a j crew bikini bottom size extra large and i sold it for 12 dollars I think two years after I bought it so I'm glad it's gone but this was not a very good flip next were these LL Bean suede boots and I believe I paid a dollar for it I sold it for 25 and my earnings were 20 then I sold this lol uh, dress this was a dress that the comps were not very good. Uh, they were 15 to $20. So I'm very happy that I was able to get $30 for it. And I believe I paid six, $6 for it. My net earnings were 24. Next was this uh, free to me as well from another uh, person from Mar Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I sold this skirt for ten dollars and my net earnings were 705 the i picked up these boots for one dollar and i sold them for 19 19 and my net earnings were 13 away because i also gave a discount shipping uh these are dgs quest boys uh snow boots i've never heard of the brand uh, but snow boots in good condition usually sell maybe not for too much but usually it's a certain sell so i sold also this marrow waterproof uh hiking shoes i sold this for 35 dollars my net earnings were 28 and i believe i bought them for a one dollar dollar day on my thrift store that i just found out closed for good it made me very sad they had dollar days every thursday and now I won't have those dollar days anymore. I have to pay up for things. Uh, then I sold this Nike Team Elite shirt, size large. It was a retail arbitrage, I think, I believe. I paid uh, two to three dollars for it. This, I don't, I didn't understand. I had this for over a year and it hadn't sold. I, I offered $10 and nobody would buy it. Uh, and then this time, um, I off I relisted it and I offered the buyer to drop the price to ten dollars and they would get discounted shipping and the buyer said yes and that's how I sold this and I'm happy it's gone. Next is this blue and gray sweater size small. I bought this for myself for a dollar at the thrift store and I sold it for eight dollars and my net earnings were five oh five after I wore for. A winter or two I decided to 
part with it. Another bundle of Christmas things that I got at Michael Michael's grab bag. Um, I sold a lot for ten dollars, and my net earnings were seven oh five. Then I had a two dollar investment on this bundle. Um, it was a girl's rain boots and a Joe's jeans shorts. I sold the bundle for fifteen dollars, and my net earnings were twelve. Not a very good pickup here. Didn't give me much of a profit. Then another nice sale. Another John Fluvog uh, pair of shoes that I bought at Savers for I believe nine dollars, and it sold next day for eighty five dollars. This was a full price sale. The buyer didn't offer anything. Just asked a question about the size. I didn't know how to answer because it's not my size. She decided to buy it anyway and bought it for $85 and my net earnings were $68. So now I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my sales for the whole month. On Poshmark, which was my best selling platform this month, I sold a total of $2,072. And minus fees that I sold $1,626. Average sale price per item was $31.39. And my average sale per item minus fees was $24.65. I sold a total of 66 items. My average cost of goods was $6 and my average net profit was $24.65. On eBay, I sold a total of $1,118. Minus fees and shipping costs, I sold $728.76. My average sale price was $30.24. My average sale price minus fees was $19.69, and I sold 37 items. My average cost of goods on eBay was $5.22. My average profit was $19.69. I sold a total of $567.27 on Mercari and my total less fees was $515.17. And my average sale price on Mercari was $33.36. My average sale price on Mercari was $30.30. I sold a total of 17 items on Mercari and my average cost of goods on Mercari was $4.94. I sold three items on Kitazen for, for a total of $116.50 and I after fees $77.26. My average sale price on Kitizen was $38.83. And on Tradesy, I sold a total of $195. I'm not counting the return here. I'm only counting the money that I already cashed out. I sold a Prada wallet in my previous video. You can see it. And my, to my total earnings less fees was $156.39. So I sold a total of $4,069.75 on all the platforms. And my total last fees is $3,104.55. And I sold a total of 124 items. My net profit this month was $2,422.69. Um, I have some expenses that i'm gonna tell you right now pay 29 dollars for list perfectly i pay um i had some expenses on pirate ship because i shipped some things from mercari it was 14.90 that i paid for pirate ship and then i reinvested into my business 1571 dollars and 24 cents this month, I had an increase of 25% in sales. I sold $814 more than last month, which is a very good number. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.